Hey everybody, welcome back. So I hope you are ready to level up because I personally have recently leveled up in a massive way. And this channel is about to level up in a massive way. I've got some amazing content on the way for you. Really excited to share what I have to share today. And then moving forward, I've got some great videos on the way for you. So I hope you're ready. Quick for anyone who might be new here. Hello, my name is Dave. Welcome. My Keys is a channel where we talk a lot about things like personal development, psychedelics, self-healing, spiritual growth, spiritual development, and how to really work a path of our own kind of self-directed, self-healing, self-growth, using psychedelics and other tools, you know, uh, along the way, whether that might be psychological or spiritual. At some point, we'll probably be talking more about philosophical kind of frameworks, concepts, and views and perspectives on this whole path. But for now, we're really kind of diving deep into the work of self-healing and personal transformation with psychedelics. So. If that's your interest, you're in the right place. And really quick here, I wanna just give a quick shout out and welcome and hello and thank you to all the new subs. There's a bunch of you that have jumped on recently. I think it was just like maybe six weeks ago, I was at 100 subs, which for me took uh, about a year and a half to get to. And so that's a huge breakthrough for me at that point. And since then, I now have 71 new subs as of today in the last six weeks. So things are definitely picking up. This community is definitely growing. And I'm stoked to have you all aboard and to be a part of this conversation. I've got so much great content on the way. I'm just really happy to be able to make the connection with you. So welcome all of you. So I have been working really hard to try to distill down what it is I'm saying to you guys and clarify my message here on the channel and kind of moving forward with my business. Um, and that really has been a process of taking, this channel has been a work in progress for over 10 years. And so got all these insights and all these epiphanies and all this information that's kind of been stewing in the back of my head for that entire time. And I've got just notes everywhere, crazy amounts of kind of bits of revelation and insight as I've gone through my own process of developing this business, personal healing, my own personal growth, uh, which is an, an ever ongoing path, let's be honest. But along the way, I've accrued this huge kind of mass of information that I want to articulate and share with everyone here. And so the challenge has been to condense that, to make that clear and to make that really on point so that you know what I'm offering you, how I can help you, what this information I'm offering is and how that might be different from other kind of approaches or perspectives on this path that's kind of emerging in the world of self-healing with psychedelics. I definitely have my own take. I definitely have a very unique perspective. I'm definitely coming from a different kind of uh, set of modalities and tools than most psychedelic kind of therapists or teachers or coaches. So um, yeah, so boiling all of that down into something cogent, clear and coherent for you has been a work in progress. You know, I'm very much, you know, into hypnotherapy and hypnosis, very much an artist. And all of these paths are very much a bottom up thing where a lot of the insight and a lot of the learning happens experientially, happens uh more deeply at the unconscious level and then bubbles up into articulation into the conscious. So this is very much how my process works and how my process on this channel works. So if you're kind of catching up and you've been kind of going back through my videos and you're noticing they're kind of all over the place with the messaging and there doesn't seem to necessarily be a clear line of thought or communication, part of that is because this has been a very much bottom up um, kind of sifting of all this information through to kind of find my messaging and what it is I want to say to you guys. So with that being said, um, what I want to focus on with this channel and with this work, what I'm up to here is really a few things. So first of all, I'm teaching you how to work your own path of self-healing here. So this is very much about me coaching you on your self-healing journey. So if you uh, aren't really ready to take responsibility for your own self-healing, this may not be the channel for you. Uh, if you are looking for some sort of outer authority in terms of you know, uh, strictly whatever the kind of bleeding edge of, of the scientific consensus in terms of psychedelic therapy is, this may not be the channel for you either because this isn't something, this, this isn't something that uh, you can just kind of imbibe passively. What I'm offering you here is a set of tools for people who are actively desiring to heal themselves and change and grow and transform and self-actualize. So uh, that's my passion. That's something I'm really interested in. And, and I wanna make that clear. What the conversation here 
is about, in a lot of ways, is about personal growth and self-directed healing. So that's kind of point number one. And I should probably say really quick, just as kind of an add-on to that thought, that there are kind of, in my mind, two levels to this path of self-healing. There's kind of the, the remedial or the self-healing level, which is kind of the lower work of dealing with the problems that we've have, had or have or have been caring for our entire lives. Then there's that next level. Once you've kind of let go of the problems, you've kind of transformed a lot of the issues, you've cleared yourself of really building and transforming into what it is you know you could be, whatever your sense of potential is or whatever vision you have for your life, really creating that and moving out from the problem space and into the creation space. So there's kind of two levels to this path here. Uh, and lately, a lot of this conversation on the channel has been about the lower, you know, first half of that path, which is about self-healing and, you know, and all of that kind of stuff. So that's where we're at currently, but there will be a lot more conversation along the way about kind of building yourself, about creating yourself, about aligning with your optimal highest self, which is really, I think, where this work gets super juicy and interesting. But anyways, I digress. Let's continue talking about what we've got going on today. Oh shit. Another quick uh, thing. I'm sorry that I keep on adding more things before the content here. Um, so I want to let you know that this video, yes, is a little bit of a sales video. And this is a little bit of a cutting edge for me in terms of directly selling to you as an audience. This is my first offering. And this video is a bit of a reveal of a soft launch of a course that I've made for you guys. So uh, I will be kind of soft launching this course over time, which means I'll be talking about this topic because I feel like it's super important for everyone here, highly relevant to what's going on in the world right now. It's the thing that most people need. So uh, that's what this, this conversation will be about today. And so, yes, there is a sales element to what I'm talking about, but the only way that I, as someone who is, you know, has dealt with so much of this on my own, who's a person, you know, who comes deeply from the heart, deeply from really caring about others, deeply caring about wanting to make a real contribution and be genuine and sincere about stuff and not salesy and not gimmicky and not full of bullshit. I like, I can't stand that shit. So for me to be able to sell you something, I have to fully be aligned with I have to fully believe in it and know that it's real and know that it's true. So yes, this is a little bit of a sales video in the sense that I'm creating uh, a set of understandings for you in this video of why what, I'm, what I've created might be something you'd really want to pick up for yourself. But also this is just in general, a piece of the conversation that I think is missing in any personal development sphere right now, whether you're looking at psychology or psychedelics or general leveling up in your life or energy energy healing or spiritual growth. This is the missing fucking piece. And I don't know why it's a missing piece. I don't know why so few people are talking about what we're going to talk about here, but it is. So anyways, I just want to kind of give you a little bit of a heads up that, yeah, this is a soft launch. I've got something on lock here on store immediately available for you. That I think you're going to love. So anyways, let's go ahead and unpack what it is I'm talking about. I'll stop the preempting. Let's get it. So uh, I have been doing a lot of research online, communicating with people, looking at different kind of psychonaut communities, whether that might be on Reddit or on blue light forums or on Facebook or what have you. I'm all over the place, always reading about both new people who are just entering the psychedelic space for the first time, people who are more seasoned and their experience of it, people who are doing high dose macro doses, people who are doing micro dosing, really trying to get a sense of why people are doing psychedelics, why they're interested in them. You know, obviously the, the science and the news and the information is really kind of brought a lot of people in and it's kind of a hot space and there's a lot of kind of money around it. And it's kind of like the cannabis 2.0 right now. But all of that aside, you know, none of that tells us why people are being drawn. And I think it's pretty obvious and pretty clear, pretty self-evident that for a lot of people, the reason they're coming to psychedelics with either renewed interest or a, an interest for the first time is that they want to self-heal. They have some set of issues, you know, generally speaking, mental health issues here, whether that's anxiety or depression or PTSD or uh, triggers or, you know, dissociation or what have you. There's some sort of an issue that people have, and probably you can relate to this yourself, that they're trying to find a solution for and feel better. Quite simply, it's it's just that. 
Most people aren't interested in psychology for the sake of psychology or even psychedelics for the sake of psychedelics or uh, you know what have you. Most people, I think in general, just want to feel better and are just looking for ways and tools to feel better, right? And I know for me, you know, yes, I personally, I, I've been taking psychedelics since the early 90s, if you don't know that about me. I've been using them in a spiritual self-growth, personal healing context all along the way. But also I've been using them, yeah, for novelty, for recreation, for uh, the curiosity, for the fascination of exploring the mind as well. But that is a topic and a conversation for another day because that gets into this whole other broader discussion about use of psychedelics. But a huge piece of that, even though I didn't recognize it right away, was a drive towards self-healing. I realized early on that psychedelics often gave me self-regulation. They gave me uh, feeling better. They gave me clearing, you know, either during the session, you know, like I take the psychedelic and my mind would be, get clear and I would maybe look at something that I wasn't looking at and reflect on it in a new light, get a new piece of wisdom, new piece of clearing and feel better about it or feel more settled about it or, you know, feel more insight and a little space around it. But also I would find that, um, you know, obviously afterwards I would feel better. I'd have that, that afterglow effect. I'd feel less anxious. I'd feel less depressed. I'd feel more at ease. I'd feel more optimistic, et cetera, et cetera. Now, as I said in a lot of other videos, and I'm sure I'll be saying in plenty more for me and what I found for a lot of people is that those benefits are kind of short lasting. And the other thing is that I think personally, um, using psychedelics in that way to feel better is missing the mark a little bit. So um, what we really need, what I think most of you probably really need and could use, and I think, you know, just with what's going on in the world around us, what's going on, you know, socially, societally, with the rise of tech, with the rise of, you know, social media, with the rise of uh, everything going on right now, you know, the, the, the pandemic and all that lockdowns, all that shit. There's a need more than ever for people to know how to come back to feeling good, how to come back to feeling safe, how to clear and let go of stress and triggers and anxiety and depression and get back in your body and feel centered and feel clear and feel clear headed and uh, feel sociable and at ease and free and open and connected, right? This is kind of fundamentally, I think, what most people are seeking when they step towards personal growth work, um, per, you know, psychology, and and I think psychedelics are kind of the latest kind of wave of that. A lot of people are stepping towards psychedelics for relief in terms of feeling better. But um, yeah, so before I go into that, I'm going to check my notes here really quick. So that's really what we're seeking. When we're taking psychedelics, what we're really seeking is what's called self-regulation. And self-regulation is a skill set. It's a something that some people learn early on, but I would say more commonly, most of us never really learn how to properly self-regulate. Either our parents never taught us how or didn't model healthy, you know, independent self-regulation, so they made us kind of codependent or um, you know, they modeled some sort of weird coping mechanism that they picked up, whether it was smoking or drinking or overeating or using food or using sex or relationships or whatever to self-regulate. Uh, and so most of us grow up with a set of bad coping techniques that we're using to try to come back to that self-regulated state. For most people, obviously it's junk food and you know TV and movies and porn and the internet uh, and maybe you know sports, et cetera, et cetera, right? We all have our things and a lot of them are vices and those vices are there because we're trying to use them to get us to feel better. And the truth is they work to some degree or else they wouldn't have stuck around in our lives as vices, right? So whatever your vices are, whether it's overeating or uh, sleeping too much or drugs or alcohol or whatever, no judgment, no shade on my part. I get it. I've been through it. I have them too. Um, but let's be real. All of that usually is something that kind of works, kind of, to help us feel better temporarily. But the thing is that typically most of these cupping mechanisms exacerbate the real problem over time, number one. Number two, they tend to 
uh, leave us feeling worse afterwards. And number three, they take their toll on our health or on our relationships or on our centeredness over time, right? So they might pro provide us with a little bit of relief, but what they cost for that relief is way too much. And this is all just people, in my personal opinion, being misguided and not having what really should be a, a set of information that's fundamentally taught to everybody. I think everyone should have these fucking skills and no one does. And it blows my mind to realize that, honestly. And so there are just a set of fundamental skills of how to use our body and how to use our nervous system to self-regulate. So the name of the game here is self-regulation. Fundamentally, and first of all, with any mental health issue, whether that's anxiety, stress, uh, triggers, overwhelm, depression, um, you know, uh, issues from the past coming up again and again, being stuck in the same cyclical issues over and over and over, um, you know, trauma, PTSD, all of this kind of stuff, really the, where the rubber meets the road for most of us is learning how to untrigger, how to let it go, how to release it, how to come back to center, how to feel clear, how to feel like we're in our bodies, how to feel like we're safe in our own skin, how to feel sociable, how to feel open, how to feel um, empowered, relaxed, competent, clear, and kind of balanced, right? And uh, where we can think, where we can learn, where we can... So this state that I'm describing is essentially the parasympathetic nervous system. So self-regulation is the skill, it's a skill that you can learn of coming out of fight or flight, coming out of trigger, coming out of the sympathetic nervous system and back into the parasympathetic nervous system. And there are a lot of different you know, methods and ways we can approach this. Um, and that's really what the course that I built here is for you. So in the course, really quick, I'll just kind of lay out a little bit more about this and then we'll talk more about self-regulation. What the course is, it's a mini course. It's short, it's sweet, it's to the point. It's 10 tools that I've learned from all these different modalities I've studied, whether that's NLP or hypnosis or energy psychology or you know other forms of kind of more physical science-based, proof-based approaches to self-regulation. So all of these are tools of working with the nervous system. The kind of core theme here is working with the nervous system to self-regulate to bring yourself back to center, to bring yourself back into feeling good, feeling balanced. A lot of this pulls on uh, neuroscience. A lot of this pulls on things like polyvagal theory, if you're familiar with that. If you're not, I explain it a bit in the course. But the idea is that I wanted to just pull 10 of the best things that I've learned that I use all the time for myself to self-regulate, that I also use with clients on a regular basis that are transformative tools. Some of these are just little tweaks and tips and tricks. Some of these are more kind of involved processes but basically you can just follow along with these 10 techniques and for sure you're going to feel better by the end of going through the 10 techniques. But really the idea is to teach you a bunch of different options because for different people, different tools seem to work better. So I gave you kind of a grab bag here, toolkit of different tools that you can try on and find maybe one, two, three or four, whatever it might be for you that really works super well that then you can use day in and day out, anytime you're triggered, anytime you're overwhelmed, to come back to center. So I figured that's the right place to start. Before we're talking about self-actualization and personal growth and you know the kind of the deeper end of the pool of the weirdness of psychedelics and how we can use them to repattern our brain to be the way we wanna be and kind of actualize our highest potential that we perceive in ourselves, that's all possible. And I think it's super fucking cool work, but for any of that to really stick and work, first you gotta be able to just get out of a trigger. You gotta be able to just self-regulate. And I think these tools, again, are just what's most practical, what's most useful, what's most immediate for most of us. So uh, yeah, if you're that person who is coming to psychedelics because you want to feel better and they hold a promise for you in that sense, and maybe you're even microdosing or you're familiar with psychedelics, you're macrodosing, and you're getting relief, you know, but maybe you're realizing that as soon as you stop taking them, that relief over time will fade or, you know, that it's not the be all end all that it, that you sense it could be, that it shows you the way, but that there's still trauma to release or 
fear or anxiety or stress or whatever to let go out of your nervous system, this is the toolkit you need. This is what you need to be learning. You need to be looking at self-regulation. So um, let me see what else is there I wanted to say about this. So yeah, that's that's basically it in a nutshell. I really want to continue to be talking about this process of self-regulation because, you know, like I said in my other videos where I've talked about my history of psychedelics and personal healing and personal growth and all my, all the things I've gone through, which is I've done so many different fucking modalities. It's ridiculous. I've done, you name it, from like hardcore spiritual practices and retreats to, um, you know, meditation for decades now to, um, uh, you name it, ayahuasca, you know, self-help seminars, uh, you name it. I've done it, right? And really what I was seeking all along through all of this, in my personal opinion, my own experience, are these self-regulation tools. And I, they're so simple. They're so basic. A lot of them are just working with your body to kind of stimulate your nervous system to release the stress and come back to that centered place. They're very simple. They're super effective. You probably know a couple already, but I want to put more together for you here. And this is really where, again, most of us should be starting. So I'll be talking more about this because this is kind of, I think, the fundamental first step on the path to feeling better, to uh, really kind of like being in alignment more regularly, to feeling like your brain is clear, to feeling like your emotions are clear and you're not just overwhelmed, to, um, for example, let me give you a little example here. Have you tried to imagine what it would be like to not have the issue you're dealing with? So if you're on a self-healing path, let's say you're dealing with, you know, maybe anxiety. A lot of people here, you know, on this channel, because I talk a lot about anxiety, are dealing with anxiety. Let's say you're dealing with and struggling with anxiety, right? Have you ever tried to imagine what your life would be like, you know, without anxiety? Who would you be when you're no longer anxious? How will you be when you're no longer anxious? What's possible for you when anxiety isn't a part of the picture anymore? Now, when I work with clients, this is an essential question that I have to ask because we have to know where we're kind of steering you. You know, this is part of the guidance system of knowing where it is you want to go in your life and how you'd rather feel instead. And when I pose that question to people, of how would you like to feel instead? It's fucking amazing. And I get it. So no judgment here, but it's fucking amazing how often people are stumped. Like, uh, I don't know. Because when we're in, you know, fight or flight, when we're dysregulated, when we're not in the parasympathetic nervous system, when we're not calm and centered and relaxed, there is this experience of not being able to really imagine what else is possible. And so for a lot of us who have been living with anxiety or depression or PTSD or something like that for years and years and years, it's really difficult to even imagine how good we could feel or how, you know, what's possible. You know, how would it be to have a life of feeling normal? How would it be to have a life of feeling better than normal, of being optimal and really thriving? Like, you know, in theory, we all want that. We all know we want that, but that is such a difficult thing for so many people to even begin to imagine because their nervous system is so defined and hemmed in by anxiety or stress or fear or overwhelm or being triggered or whatever it is that you might be dealing with. So this is why I made this course. I want to make it just short and sweet, simple, easy to follow, uh, and just really kind of a direct teaching on these tools. I didn't want to get all fancy with a bunch of theory. I didn't want to get all fancy with a bunch of crazy, like, you know, far out examples and, and laying out all these different examples. I just want to take you through the basics so you can start to feel relief right away. And, uh, you know, to that end, I'm really happy with the course. I will admit that, you know, the course isn't my best work in the sense that uh, I was dysregulated during filming part of it. So you see me go through different phases of being a little more triggered of being on camera because this has been an ongoing process for me of being more comfortable as I film myself. Um, and you see me kind of shift multiple times in different videos through going from dysregulated to regulated, which is really actually kind of cool to see. And also I know I'm just not great on camera yet. I'm not necessarily a great public speaker. I'm not necessarily great at being concise. I'm not necessarily great at uh, being charismatic on camera. I know that it's something I'm working at. So the course is um, 
I think the content's solid. I think my delivery on a little bit of it could be better. And it probably at some point I'll refilm this stuff as I get better on camera, but I just want to get it built. I want to get it out there for you. I wanted to offer this to you right away uh, because these are tools all of, all of us can benefit from. I don't know a single person who couldn't use more ways to come back to feeling aligned and centered and, and at peace and at ease, right? So this shit is real. It's solid. There's a lot of science to back up everything I'm teaching you here. You know, a lot of stuff in terms of polyvagal theory and the vagus nerve, a lot of stuff in terms of uh, memory reconsolidation, which I'll be talking a lot more about because it's really at the heart of the work I do with people. And so there is science to back up this. It's not woo. And uh, it's stuff that you can use right away. So anyways, I'm going to wrap it up there, kind of leave uh, leave on a positive note. I hope this is exciting for you. Um, moving forward, I, my messaging is going to be a lot more clear. I'm going to have a lot more to say uh, around a lot of different topics, a lot of different, different issues. I have a lot of food for thought for you, a lot of concepts, and I'm really honing and focusing in on communicating to you as clearly as possible how you can use psychedelics to self-heal because there's so much in this field. There's so much here. And let's be real, there's a huge fucking need for it. There are more people, I'll put out another video about this soon. There are more people that need self-healing that are struggling with anxiety, they're struggling with depression than ever before. Millions and millions and millions. And there are just way more people than there are therapists and coaches and woo healers and energy healers. If you took all those healing modalities combined, there's still way more need than there are you know, people to do the healing work. So tools like this need to go out there. Courses like this need to go out there. We need to be getting the information out to as many people as possible so that people can really start to learn how to self-heal. So anyways, uh, I'm really excited to share all of this with you. I'll be talking more about self-regulation if this is of interest to you, but I'll be talking about other topics too, uh, more broadly about the psychedelic community, the psychedelic therapy community, my own experiences, spiritual growth, self-help, all that good stuff. There's plenty more of that on the way too. So uh, if you like this, please continue to watch the channel, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. And um, you know, link is below for the course. So if you want the course, the course is live right now now. I'm so hyped to be able to say that to you. And uh, and it's great. And it's affordable. It's short. It's sweet. It's to the point you'll get benefit right away. So take it. Let me know how it serves you. And I certainly will refine it. Uh, it's uh, By the way, it's a lifetime you know subscription to the course. So any updates or anything I add to it will be free of charge to you. And at some point down the line here in the near future, I think I'll be doing kind of a bonus, you know, extended version of the course, with maybe more interventions, maybe some, maybe some hypnosis sessions along with it that kind of a thing as well. So if you're interested in that, look out for that as well. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. More videos on the way soon. Now that I'm done making this course, which took way longer than expected, I have more time to really kind of film more content and communicate more with you guys. So big love, big respect to you all. I hope you're feeling great, but if you're not, go check out this course. It's really something that could help you right away. So all the best.